Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's viewer requested video from Kenny Bravo322, how to save and restore stick mappings. So this means it takes a long time to set up your aircraft in DCS for your stick and your rudder pedal and whatnot. This is how to save them if in case something goes wrong on your machine, which does happen a lot. Uh, so it keeps them back up and then you can restore them if need be. We do a video on how to restore and back up your joystick settings since the new update there seems to be some problem. I have to restore some and not able with the new update. Okay. First things first, there is two methods or at least two methods that I know of doing this. One is a general backup and that will save the settings but it will not be any use if, for instance, you change some hardware. Like if you come back and you've changed uh, something, some hardware on your computer, and then it may have, set, for instance, re even if you kept the same joystick, it may have renamed the joystick. So that wouldn't work. This would only use if you haven't had a hardware change. So that is going to be change A, uh, sorry, method A. Method B is, is going to be more in depth, and it's going to allow us to restore our joystick settings even if we've had a hardware change as long as it's not an actual joystick change there is no way of doing that if you change your joystick you will have to rebind that joystick but this is in case you've lost the settings for the joystick and there's been a hardware change okay so first of all a is the easy one this is something i do all the time and it's something you should do so let's go to not our dcs installation but where our saved games folder is that's the first thing to point out most of you will have it in your c drive under your users area I've moved mine on purpose. I keep it on my Steam drive now just because I've got more room there. I'm going to go to Save Games. I'm going to go to DCS. I'm going to go to Config. Within Config, we've got Input. And that's the folder we're going to grab. But just so I can show you, we go if we went into put Input, we would see all of our aircraft there. Uh, so let's just pick on the C101CC. Within that, we've got the joystick settings. And these are the joystick settings. You can see I've got C those are my rudder pedals that's my left joystick and that's my right joystick or the other way around my hotas you know what i'm saying so that's how it stores them uh, in lua or basically just text format okay so what i'm going to do to keep everything super easy and super safe is just grab input okay i'm going to grab there go to where i back things up work d drive and you can see i've got input these are the previous backups i've done which i must admit i'm a bit out of date so i'm now going to paste input and so you know when I took it from, I'm going to put the date on it in English format, which is 6-3-20. Hold, uh, put that back, refresh that. So now on my storage drive, I've got all these inputs so I can revert to at any point, any of these guys, like I said, presuming there hasn't been a major hardware change or something. So if a new version of DCS comes out, which happens sometimes, and it messes your controls up, you just put this input back over the old input, job done. The next way is a bit more complex but gives us a extra detail and functionality. For this next way we're going to go into uh, DCS World Standby. We're in the main menu now we're going to go to options we're going to go to controls now for this method of doing things well wow, i've never seen that before but okay for this method of doing things uh, we are going to have to do it plane by plane unfortunately there's no other way around that so i'm going to choose um i want my su33 in this case here i want to back up the left hotas the right hotas and my pedals so if i want to do the left hotas here i'm going to click on that arrow here i'm going to just go save profile as ping and you can see where I've been putting them before. So I've already got a separate folder for these maps here, in which case I've got each aircraft. But just to uh, do it the same way we were doing it, if I just go it back into D drive, if it's going to let me D drive, I'll just use an existing folder, this input here. And I'm just going to put it in the root directory here. It's going to be, in this case, uh, left, call it whatever you want, left HOTAS SU33 save. And it's going to save it as an LUA file. That's that saved. Go and do the same thing with this. Go and do the same thing with this. And then you can see if we go to our storage drive, D drive, we go into that folder there. Scroll down. We can see there it is, our Lua file, our left hotels. And if you ever wanted to click on a double click on a Lua file, it's just a kind of XML type text file here with the information in. Okay, let's get back into DCS. So now I'm going to delete this here. And then I'm going to, because I've accidentally ruined it, I'm now going to load up the save profile, so load profile. Here I saved it as left hotas su33.diff.lua, ping, and it's been restored. So that's how we do it. The, the only place where this method won't work is if you've actually physically replaced your type of joystick, and then obviously it simply won't work, you have because it's a different joystick. So the load profile is what you'd have to do if you change your PC hardware. 
Mm-hmm. You have to do that for every plane. Aircraft. So that is annoying because yeah. you literally have to do all of them, which is why I refuse to change than anything. Rebinding. It's easier than rebinding. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that was useful. See you later.